Hi! After watching the video, click the link in the description to download the program. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the U.S. nuclear target map, where you'll find out if you're living in one of America's death zones. Once a nuke is heading your way, you might think that there isn't much left to do. But you would be wrong. Because I'll show you America's natural nuclear bunkers that are also EMP proof. When the sirens start wailing, all you need to do is pick the closest one to your home where you can take cover before it hits. Sometimes, shelter is so close, but you have no clue about it. You could be sitting right on top of it this very second. That's the case in Detroit, where just 1,200 feet below the city, there's a salt mine outfitted with everything you need, and that could easily shelter the entire population of the city. Other cities like Houston and Cleveland are also situated over similar salt mines. In fact, every state has at least five natural nuclear bunkers, and I'm willing to bet at least one is within a life-saving distance from your house. But that's not all, because I'll show you an ingenious method of having a unique kind of root cellar in your backyard or under your house that is designed to also protect you from disasters like famines, hurricanes, EMPs, looters, tornadoes, bullets, and even fallout and radiation after a nuclear blast. Most importantly, it will preserve your water and food reserves year-round, just like your grandparents' root cellars. But it's a lot easier to build. In fact, it's the coolest thing I've ever added to my small backyard. My name is Tom Griffith. I'm a retired 60-year-old nuclear safeguard inspector, and I'm by no means a doomsday prepper. I do prepare, but the old-fashioned way, just like our grandparents did when they put aside some food each year for winter or hard times. Many years ago, when my hands became progressively stiffer with arthritis, I knew that bugging out was no longer an option for me. Leave that to the young people who are still able to deal with the many hardships of living isolated in the woods. And even for the young, this should be a last resort. Bugging out to live off the land is a fairy tale for most. What are you going to do when 10,000 other folks bug out to your part of the woods? Bye-bye game animals, fish, or edible plants. Or if someone assumes they will bug out to the country, we of the country are not going to be that welcoming of intruders on our property. Bugging out and not belonging to that area could get you killed quicker than any of the other reasons. Now, you probably don't consider your small neighborhood or dead-end street a community, but let some disaster happen and you'll see humans come together for safety and support, at least in the beginning. Listen. Even if you have only two weeks' worth of food and water at home, that is nothing to sneeze at. So my advice is to find a way to stay at home and bug in. Leave only if you really have to, and only after I've shown you where you can find the closest natural bunker to your home. Our grandparents had their root cellars, and not only did they have supplies for months there, but it was also a place to take shelter when a storm hit or in times of crisis. So I decided to find a simple way to have a root cellar where I can keep all my stockpiles and everything that I grow in my backyard without it spoiling, but also to serve as a shelter for me and my family, one that can withstand hurricanes, tornadoes, and even nuclear fallout. It also had to be hidden from looters after an EMP and supplies you with food and water in an economic crisis, safety during civil unrest, or anything else you can think of. I also wasn't planning on breaking my back building it either. My arthritis wouldn't agree. So I started looking for solutions. Now, some of the ideas I found were just crazy, but at least a few seemed doable and were cheap enough to give them a go. First, I tried a buried shipping container. Ever wonder what really happens when you bury a shipping container? Man, it was hard. It might sound like a good idea, but please don't ever try this unless you have at least $4,000 lying around and are prepared to work intensively for a whole month. And even if you build it, you'll soon find out that it was all for nothing. As you can see, the weight of the ground caused the curbside walls of the container to buckle in. 
Shipping containers can hold a lot of weight, but only on the corners, not on the sides. Here's a closer look. And don't forget about the water. What if the shipping container collapses and buries everyone inside? What if a secure shelter suddenly becomes a death trap for you and your entire family? Luckily, there's a better way. Way better. Way cheaper. Way safer. But most importantly, way easier than burying a shipping container. And it's also waterproof, so no matter how close the water table is, it won't bother you one bit. But just like you, I didn't know about it. Yet. Sure, there are other ways to make a root cellar or a bunker, but they are either too time-consuming or too expensive, $10,000 or more. I was just about to give up on my dream of having an old-style root cellar. Then something really strange happened. One day, I saw my neighbor Jerry slowly climbing out from somewhere below his backyard. At first, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me, but looking closely, I saw stairs leading into the ground and realized he must have built something, like a hidden basement. To say I was intrigued would be an understatement. Why? Jerry is a 70-year-old disabled war veteran living on a fixed income. He became a prisoner of war after stepping on a mine and losing his leg in Nam. For a whole year, he was taken from camp to camp and bunker to bunker and endured incredible hardships. Through forced labor, hunger, and constant beatings, Jerry found one thing to focus on to keep himself sane. He planned to escape one day and reveal all he had seen and learned during his captivity. One thing in particular caught his eye more than anything else. The bunkers being built with a speed and ease Jerry had never seen before. When he served in the U.S. Army, Jerry helped build the American bunkers, which took five men working for weeks to make and were quite exposed. The Vietnamese bunkers, on the other hand, were completely different. You see, the Viet Cong had become master builders because they were forced to adapt to some of the deadliest conditions known to man. They didn't have bricks or mortar but they still managed to build underground shelters that were strong enough to withstand the constant pounding of powerful American bombs. This is where they kept all their food and tactical supplies. The Viet Cong bunkers were so efficient that the CIA estimated that for every 100 bombs dropped on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, just one North Vietnamese soldier died. On the day he was rescued, Jerry weighed 95 pounds at the most. He was so fragile they had to feed him through a tube for days. The intel he provided on enemy tactics ended up saving countless American lives, so the Army gave Jerry a medal and a plane ticket back to the U.S. While the war was soon over and American soldiers were happily returning to their families, for Jerry, the struggle continued. Things that most people take for granted don't come easy at all for Jerry. Losing his leg early in life, meant he had to learn to do things differently, without hard physical work or breaking the bank. Jerry never complained about his disability and never asked for or expected help from anyone. He is truly a hero, but he never bragged about it. Instead, he is probably the most self-reliant man I know. What he built in his backyard was a unique kind of root cellar. But here comes the truly shocking part. It only took Jerry a week to get it done, on his own. When I went down the stairs, I felt as if I had traveled back in time, right to my grandfather's root cellar. While smaller, at probably 150 square feet, everything else was exactly the same. Even that old smell I missed so much. Jerry had all sorts of cans, rice, beans, and jerky hanging from the ceiling, but he also had modern supplies like progresso soup, pasta, peanut butter, dry goods, candles, water bottles, meds, an AR-15, a really big ammo box, and a lot more that I'll tell you about soon. Jerry affectionately called it his life cellar, and I could really see why. This thing could keep you and your whole family alive for months, even years, with no outside help. He also improvised a homemade ventilation system. When I examined it closely, I realized that his so-called charcoal life vent would actually be able to filter out almost everything you can think of. 
including radioactive particles. By this point, I was dead curious to find out just how my one-legged old neighbor had achieved all this in one short week. A generous and kind man, in spite of the many horrors he had witnessed, Jerry smiled and offered to share everything he knew with me. The life cellar he had built in his backyard was a brilliant mix of three things. One, Jerry had always wanted to have an old-fashioned root cellar just like his great-grandparents had. This is where they kept all their harvest from spoiling. They had healthy, nutritious food on their table year-round. The problem with this kind of root cellar is that they are quite flimsy and can become a death trap in anything more than a storm, and they are not that easy to build. Two, the second thing Jerry considered was the temporary American army bunkers. They had a tactical advantage and provided safety from bullets, shock waves, and floods. More than that, they were made out of inexpensive materials. But on the other hand, they were exposed in plain sight and were not that easy to build either. Three, and the third most important part, was the Viet Cong's secret method of building hidden, quick bunkers which were so easy to build that two people could build one in less than a day. They don't look like much from the outside because they blend in with the environment, but they are incredibly resilient to bombardment, grenades, and shelling. They also had a second exit so those inside would never get trapped, but they did not make use of good enough materials for these to last for more than a few short years. Jerry did something very sharp and inventive. His cellar had all the benefits of our great-grandparents' root cellars, the American Army war bunkers, and the secret Viet Cong building method, with none of their drawbacks. His cellar was so cool that I definitely needed to have one in my own backyard. To make a long story short, using his method and having him by my side helping me with all the directions, I made my own cellar. It took me four days to build and only cost $421, which is less than a month's rent and will last a lifetime. I ended up having an awesome, completely equipped 150-square-foot cellar. Most Americans only need a 50-square-foot cellar, which can be made with only a fraction of the money and time that I spent on mine. My wife, who just days before was shaking her head when I started to build it, saying I was crazy and that it would take a lot of work, was now rushing to and from the pantry to bring in our supplies. I felt an enormous sense of pride, not only because it looked just like I wanted, but also because now I knew that my family and I would have a safe haven filled to the brim with everything we would need to survive, even the worst crisis. That's why I thought you and every fellow citizen should have one in your own backyard. And Jerry wholeheartedly agreed. Together, we set out to share this life-saving information with as many Americans as we could. Americans who want to be more self-sufficient, 100% prepared, and less dependent on the government, the grid, and Walmart chains. We called it the Easy Seller. It's like having a 24-7, no matter what, Walmart in your backyard that only you know about. Here's what you'll discover in the Easy Seller program. First of all, we made this blueprint as simple as possible so that it would be a no-brainer. Just like me, you'll have Jerry on your side telling you exactly what to do until you finish your backyard Easy Seller. You'll have unlimited access to our videos, our plans, and our instructions, and you can call Jerry to ask him anything about your project as part of our program. Just imagine the exact spot in your backyard where you will soon have your old-fashioned root cellar. When stepping down those stairs, the cold air will take you back in time at least a hundred years when every house in America had one to store everything our great-grandparents grew or bartered for. It kept everything from spoiling without electricity, and it will do the same for you. You'll have fresh, healthy food right off the shelf to feed your whole family. Not to mention that it will look so cool that all your friends will bombard you with questions about it. The Easy Seller was specifically designed to be hidden away from prying eyes or looters. So even if you're outnumbered and surrounded with nowhere to run, 
you'll always have this secret place to go to, where nobody will find you. So how will you feel when five looters are ravaging your house to be able to observe them safely while tucked away in your concealed bunker? And even if FEMA comes for your supplies to redistribute them, they can't steal supplies they don't know are there, because your cellar will be invisible. The Easy Cellar will serve as a perfect storm shelter, too. You and your family can always take cover there, even from F5 tornadoes or Category 5 hurricanes. After these catastrophic events that tear down houses and cause weeks of blackouts, you won't have to sleep on the floor of some high school or stadium crammed in with thousands of other empty stomachs. Instead, you'll still eat delicious food three times a day and stay safe, all thanks to your Easy Cellar. I will show you exactly what to store in your Easy Cellar so you can have everything you need to stay inside for three months. That's right. If you don't want to leave or it's dangerous to go outside, you and your family can outlast any crisis from the inside. You'll learn how I made my own odorless toilet and reliable sink in less than 60 minutes. I personally tested my Easy Cellar. For one week, I closed myself inside just to see if I needed anything else. Believe me, sometimes no TV can be a good thing. I had my radio with me, though. It was one of the most relaxing and carefree weeks I've ever had. I would have stayed longer, but I didn't want to diminish my food reserves for nothing. You'll also discover how to use an ingenious method to safely store large quantities of water a method that was used by our great-grandparents, too. You see, with no direct sunlight and the cellar's low temperature, water doesn't spoil easily. But using this method will keep your water fresh almost forever. The easy cellar might be easy to build, but it's a nightmare for anyone who would try to break in. In that regard, it closely resembles a panic room. Plus, whoever gets in gets shot. Anyway, you probably won't find yourself in that situation, because, as I said, no one will find the entrance unless you show them. As you know, one of the most important parts of any cellar is the ventilation system. This is one of the things that I'm most proud of, because I took Jerry's ventilation system and tweaked it, and now it filters anything a professional nuclear biological chemical filter would. You'll never have to worry about any airborne contaminants getting into your easy cellar, not even nuclear fallout. Plus, in our program, you'll find my step-by-step -step system to survive in your easy cellar after a nuclear blast. Chances are you won't be directly hit. What you need to worry about is the nuclear fallout and when it's safe to go outside. Contrary to popular opinion, while immediately after a nuclear explosion, radiation levels skyrocket for hundreds of miles, they dissipate very quickly compared to a nuclear power plant meltdown. That's why they rebuilt Hiroshima and Nagasaki in just a few months. But Chernobyl is still a ghost town 30 years later. Nuclear bomb fallout doesn't stay dangerous forever. Its radioactivity falls exponentially. One hour after detonation, the fallout is fatal after just 50 minutes of exposure. After just seven hours, the radiation level will have fallen so much that it will cause only radiation sickness. After 49 hours, it's almost safe to go outside. Two weeks after the attack, you can be exposed for several hours a day without serious risk of radiation sickness. A year after the attack, radiation levels will be close to normal background levels. So you won't need to stay hidden in your easy cellar for years. After one month, you can start spending a considerable amount of time outside. Plus, you'll also discover 15 natural remedies for radiation that you can keep in your easy cellar. The principle for protecting the body from the absorption of nuclear isotopes is the law of selective uptake. Reduced to bare bones, it means that radioactive isotopes look like nutrients to the body. So, if the body is deficient, it will grab hold of the isotope and use it in the body. You can prevent this absorption by taking extra doses of the nutrients you need. For example, iodine supplements protect against iodine isotopes. 
Cesium-137 mimics potassium in the body. Strontium-90 mimics calcium. Plutonium-239 mimics iron, and so on. The 15 foods that you'll find in our blueprint are critical. And if you don't already have them among your reserves, you need to add them fast. But one more thing. After an EMP, or a solar storm, there will be no more electricity. But that won't bother you at all. You won't need a refrigerator if you have an easy cellar in your backyard, and basically you'll have anything you need to live a normal, healthy life, and even help others if you want. And believe it or not, there is even more, because if you get the easy cellar program right now, you'll also receive two exclusive reports that will be off the table soon. The first report you'll get is America's Natural Nuclear Bunkers. Find the closest one to your home. I chose to offer this report at no extra cost because I know how many American lives will be saved just by knowing the vital information contained within this report. Until your easy seller is ready, you'll still have somewhere to go. So you'll be more protected starting this very minute. I personally keep it in my car whenever I'm traveling. There's no telling where you will be when a nuclear war begins. It's not like we will have any warning if King Jong-un or some other unstable regime leader or even a terrorist organization decides to push the big red button. There are literally thousands of natural bunkers all across America, and there isn't a state that doesn't have at least five of them. The first thing you need to do is search for your state and find the closest natural bunker to your home and your workplace. The second report you'll receive is... 56 items to stockpile in your easy seller. Pound per pound, I've selected only the best items in terms of space occupied, price, and added survival value. And my easy seller has them all in various quantities. I'll show you the three items I miss the most when I spent a week in my easy seller. Don't make my mistake. Add these to your reserves. You'll also discover what Jerry stockpiled in his own seller. There are some items and foods that are more suited for a seller and that never spoil in one. You'll also learn how to store them so you'll never run out of food. One more thing. These 56 items are specifically for Americans who won't make it without the basics and can't spend a fortune trying. You'll discover the top items that are just as good as name brand products but a fraction of the cost. So if you choose to follow the Easy Seller program, You'll also get these exclusive bonuses that are worth $29 each for free and unlimited access to the members area where you can ask me or Jerry anything at any time. I will be there to answer your questions and to help you if you need any clarification on anything else. We made the easy seller, like the name suggests, as easy as possible. Our goal was to give everyone the possibility to have an old-fashioned root cellar and a bunker combined into one, right in their backyard, in as little as one week after receiving our program and with minimal cost and effort. To help you along with your project and speed things up, we'll also give you a step-by-step -step video guide for building the easy seller, as well as written plans with in-depth details. You could be watching the videos or reading the book just five minutes from now. And in even less time, you'll be able to find the nearest natural bunker to your home. Like me, I'm sure you'll immediately start feeling a lot safer, knowing that until you decide to make an easy seller, you'll have a place to take shelter right away. You won't believe how fast you will be able to complete it. If Jerry built his at 70 years old and with only one leg, I'm pretty sure you can do it too. Think about it. How much is it worth to you to have a root cellar and bunker in your own backyard? I know once Jerry and I got the word out about the easy seller to our neighbors and friends, people who could expect a reasonable discount for personally knowing us, we had offers topping $1,000 for the easy seller. They all wanted it and wanted it badly. I guess they realized that even at that price, it would be a steal compared to the nuclear bunkers savvy businesses make a killing with on the Internet, selling them for over $50,000 without providing any more protection than the easy seller.
And theirs aren't even that cool, because you'll also have a root cellar, just like our great-grandparents had over 100 years ago. Prepare for some jealous visitors. Jerry and I decided the Easy Cellar should be available to as many American families as possible. When lives are at stake, profit must take a back seat. So today, the entire Easy Cellar program and the two bonuses can be yours for the price of a t-shirt, just $37. But the only way to get it is to click on the button below. We will put the money to good use by offering quality support and continued assistance to everyone who needs help along the way. The way I see it, you have three options here. You can ignore my message and hope that things will get better and that a crisis will never strike America. No problem. If you think that America is too powerful to collapse, this is what the Romans thought, as well as the Nazis, Napoleon's French Empire, and the Soviet Union. They thought they were invincible, but they all collapsed in the end. We need to get used to the idea that the U.S. won't be the world's superpower at some point. But the only way to postpone that moment and to make America less vulnerable to crisis is for we, the people, to be more self-sufficient and less dependent on the government. Because if we as individuals are less vulnerable in a crisis, America is too. Our great-grandparents were. And this is why America is great now. But we are raising a generation of spoiled kids that will starve to death without a nearby Walmart. You can also buy a shipping container and bury it. But you've already seen what happens when you do that. And there's a lot of hard work involved in that one. In fact, if you don't have $50,000 lying around to buy a bunker or a root cellar, or if you don't want to break your back carrying bags of heavy bricks and cement, then the only solution to finally have a root cellar and bunker in your backyard is the easy cellar. I spent years searching for something easier to make, and there is no simpler way. I searched for a less expensive method, and there aren't any. Or you can use the easy cellar program if you don't want to go through all of this, and you can learn from my mistakes. This ingenious method is the only proven-to-work method out there. So if you don't want to have to worry about you and your family's security, if you want your food and stockpiles safe from spoiling, floods, looters, tornadoes, or even worse, then the Easy Seller is the only option readily available for you. A safe haven right in your backyard that has the added bonus of taking you back in time, as if your own great-grandfather was holding your hand while building it. So if you want to have it all for less than $400, and with a week's worth of leisurely work at best, then click the Add to Cart button below. Remember back in the day when a man's word was his bond? He needed nothing else. Frankly, I miss those days, and I still like to do things the old-fashioned way, on a handshake. Today, in keeping with those simpler times, Jerry and I want to offer you our one-of-a-kind handshake guarantee. When you get the Easy Seller program, you don't risk a single dime. We wholeheartedly believe in the Easy Seller program and are more than willing to put our money where our mouth is. So here is our promise to you today. If for any reason whatsoever you're not 100% fully satisfied with how inexpensive, easy to build, and incredibly effective at protecting your stockpiles and your life, the Easy Seller truly is, just send me or Jerry a short email and we will refund you every last penny right into your PayPal or your bank account within 24 hours, with no hassles and absolutely no questions asked. Of course, you'll be able to keep the two bonuses just for giving the Easy Seller a try. You may think we're going out on a limb offering such a powerful guarantee, but we're really not. Most folks love the Easy Seller so much that we hardly ever receive a refund request. So go ahead and become one of the thousands of Americans who have already protected themselves and their families and will eat fresh, healthy food from their root cellar this winter. You really have nothing to lose. During this short presentation, I've shown you beyond a shadow of a doubt why bugging out is not the way to go. It's hard. You lose the tactical advantage of your home ground. And besides, most people will do that. 
Imagine millions fleeing to the woods. How much game meat or edible roots do you think are out there? You've also seen why even a nuclear war doesn't have to be the end, with radiation dropping according to the 710 rule, and why burying a shipping container is literally a death trap. Unlike similar faulty or otherwise extremely expensive bugging in options, the Easy Seller will not only shield you in your own backyard, but it will also provide you with all the food, water, and medicine you need. It will be your tactical base of operations, where you'll choose whom to bring in or whom to keep out. Sure, your way of life won't exactly be the same. You can't expect that with the world falling apart around you. Whether it's an economic meltdown, tornado, hurricane, famine, EMP, mass riots, or even, God forbid, a nuclear attack, you will be affected. But it will be a lot less severe. And I promise that you'll be far better off than most people who rely on limited survival knowledge. But most importantly, you will be among those who will rebuild America. At least for me, it doesn't matter how much I will suffer or the price I'll pay. There's no more honorable duty than this. Don't do what most Americans do. Bury their heads in the sand and hope that a crippling crisis won't strike the U.S. The sad truth is that only 3% of people actually prepare in this country. If you've watched this far, I truly believe that you are part of that elite 3%, or at least that you are serious about joining them to better protect your supplies, your family, and your very life. It's the people going the extra mile before a deadly crisis strikes that stand the best chance of survival. I'm sure you know that by now. You'll be in your own backyard, comfortable and protected, surrounded by your loved ones and your supplies, while others will starve, fight, and even kill over the last piece of meat. Nobody will know about the fast, easy seller unless you want them to. Because, as I said, one of the greatest advantages of our program is that it allows for building in complete secrecy. No hungry mobs hunting you down, and no FEMA stealing vital supplies for the common good. What common good? Where were those people when you were struggling to stockpile food and saving every last dollar to make sure your family survives? Did the government come knocking then, or did they just raise taxes and make it even harder? Like I said before, if more people would prepare the right way, then most crisis situations would become just temporary setbacks. So click the button below, and you'll surely thank me when one week from now, you'll be gazing at your finished easy seller full of supplies and are ready to protect your whole family and even neighbors and friends from whatever crisis strikes America. And by ordering today, you will also receive America's Natural Nuclear Bunkers. Find the closest one to your home, which normally costs $29, and 56 items to stockpile in your easy seller which is also valued at $29, completely free. Just these two bonuses are worth their weight in gold in a nuclear crisis, as you'll not only know ahead of time if your area is dangerous, unlike 99% of all other Americans today, but you'll also have an emergency solution to take shelter when you're too far away from home to reach your easy seller. This deal simply cannot get any better. And I want you to join me and the thousands of other self-sufficient Americans who will pave the way to the future of our country, just like our ancestors did 200 years ago. While they didn't have a lot to spend, they realized there's no better investment than a root cellar. And modern benefits like cutting refrigeration electricity costs are nothing to sneeze at. They didn't miss a thing, our great-grandparents, and neither will you once you have an easy seller in your own backyard. So go ahead, click the button below, and Jerry and I will see you on our secure order page in just a second. Click the link in the description to download the program.